In this video, we will cover validation for date. So let's first insert a date control. It's the date picker. We call it date picker underscore start date. Okay, then we insert a label for it. We name the text to start date cannot be in the past. Suppose we want the start date to be either today or a future date, then we cannot have it in the past date. So this color C C C C C color will make it red and visible as usual the visible we will make it to variable show start date label okay then that's on submit we will uh, assign the value to this variable. So I have a code, I'll paste it here. Variable show start date label. If date picker one start date, if date picker underscore start date is less than today, this is a built in function, it will return today's date. Now this will be the server date, not the date on my machine. So if it is less, that means we want to show the error message. So we'll return true, otherwise, we'll return a false. Okay, so once again, date picker underscore start date. This is the control. If it is less than today, that means you are trying to start, you are trying to set a start date to be less than today. Uh, then we should show the uh, error label. So I go here and then the reset button, of course. We will first reset the control. Reset uh, date picker start date and then uh, we will also uh, reset the uh, visible variable to be false so variable var show start date label start date label because when it's reset we want to reset we want to hide the error message okay let's cross our fingers ah i used to i ran it before so let's reset everything okay submit now we have everything here now ah, we can do try this everything is in error so first we'll fix our current problem will make it uh, 20 so it's a future date now we're trying to submit this is gone a valid email address and then age 21 try to submit once again submit now the entire form is correct so we reset try to submit and then uh, pick a back date submit it will be a error message so we reset everything so once again uh, we have a date picker we have the label for the okay okay we have the label for the we can rename it proper label date start date okay that's the label this is the control this label has the text uh, uh, color as red once again the color is red then the text is or the default uh, uh, T. start date cannot be in the past so you cannot choose a past date if you try to submit you cannot submit it and uh, so on submit we are assigning this we are checking the value of the start of the date picker if the date picker uh, is less than today 
then we want to make this variable as true else false true means we want to show the label and this is the uh, label which we are showing and on reset we are uh, resetting the start date date picker start date and we are assigning the variable to false so that's it about the date uh, control validation